Okay, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today's video, we're going to take a look at Devontae Wyatt, number 95 for Georgia, uh, interior D lineman. Uh, stack defense from UGA this year that won a national championship. Let's get into Devontae Wyatt's tape. Roll the intro. <laughs> So in this first play right here, um, Devontae Wise, number 95, and we're just going to really take a look at, you know, some of the things he does well versus the run and the pass as an interior D lineman. You want, you know, and what we're looking for is how well does he pass rush, how much push does he get versus the the pass, and how how is he able to get off blocks and, and keep gap integrity versus runs. So that's what we're looking for. I think I got, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, I got six plays for Devontae. Let's get into it. And again, this is Devontae highlighted right here. He's number 95 for UGA. So right now he's lined up in a four tech. Maybe a four eye. But look at this spin move from this big old fella. And granted, he clips. And I probably shouldn't have slowed it down. Watch, watch the grace of this spin move from a guy this big. Does a good job of working with 99. Does a good job. Even though he falls, he gets the job done. Because his job, he's, he's the pit guy on the pick and roll. He's the pit guy. He's trying to take 55 with him in the 56, which is going to clear 99 to loop around. And he does it, even with the spin move. He attacks that inside shoulder of 55. Even though he trips, but he, he gets the job done. It's a stunt. Unconventional, but it's still a stunt. 99 is free to get that at the quarterback. Team player. Team player. Does his job effectively. Wipes out two guys. So a D-line buddy can get a um, sack. Or whatever they called it. I think this was the one where they thought it was a fumble and the Kobe ran it back and they called it back. So I don't know if they called it a sack or what. But still, you get the point. All right, next play. Here's our guy right here. And on this play, you're going to see him keep gap integrity and work his way flat down the line to make the tackle. He's going to keep this gap integrity and work flat down this line and then going to eventually make the tackle. Great step with the zone away from him. Look at him in his gap with leverage. Got that inside arm free. We leverage. We leverage. Stay flat down the line. Right into the tackle. The key word is playing with leverage. Not allowing the, the um, who's that? The guard of the tackle. I think that's the guard. You're not allowing the guard to get his head on the other side. So if the guard get his head on this side of his body, they potentially have a play. But the fact that he kept it on this side and kept this arm free, and you know they tried to they double team ninety nine, so he got to win this matchup, got to win this one on one matchup, which he does. Stays in his gap. And, you know, think as far as gaps, he stays in his gap. Forty one got that gap. Walker fitting right there. You got five and sixteen off the edge, so they gap sound. They gap sound. He does a good job of staying flat. Get in on the tackle. Great, that's great fundamental football right there. Didn't run up field, maintained his gap, and stayed flat down the line. All right, now let's see how well we pass rush. 95's here in the one technique right here. He's going to get a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one matchup with 70. Let's see how well he pass rushes. Gets his hands outside. He's really just going to try to throw him out of the way. Initially, that doesn't work, but on the second move, he really just swims him. Nothing, nothing dramatic about it. He just swims him because it wasn't a pick. It, I mean, if it was a twist, it was a bad twist by number 90, so it's still a one-on-one -on -one matchup. He eventually just gets him out the way. No, no swim, no over-under, just brute strength right here. Is I'm stronger than you. And when I see where the ball going or see where the quarterback going, I'm just get rid of you. 
And granted, the technique by the the guard ain't the greatest. Just get rid of them. Maybe it's a trip in there. Maybe. But still, you'll take any kind of pressure that your interior D lineman can get on the QB. Any kind. Whether it be from a stunt, whether it be straight push up the middle. Any um, pass pro, I mean pass rush that you can get from an interior D lineman. It's great. Great. Especially if you got edge guys that can push the pocket deep. And then when they step up, you got interior D lineman right there to smack them in the mouth. All right, so now we're going to get him here trying to uh, defeat the double team. This is our guy right here. And the double team is going to come from 68 and 65, I guess, whatever number that is. He takes 65 head on and tries to throw that shoulder into him. So they, that's an okay job of a double team. But really, we shouldn't see all this space in the double team. He takes the initial push and anchors down. And now he just fights back with 65. So now he's in a great position because, you know, he didn't allow movement and he left too early. So now he can play that gap because he's fighting right back over 65. Or he can play that gap, either one. 25 trying to get away from him. And look, he just crosses right back in his face. He crosses his face again. He's getting hell. That's a hole. But it's in tight, so they probably going to call it. But the fact that he took on that double team and made that bounce like that, and a lot of a lot of times these interior D linemen, they don't get a lot of the, the the tackles or the sacks. But them doing stuff like this makes plays for, for other people. Cause this is a actually this is probably a TFL for number 16. But all he did was just stay on the edge and, and let, let the play come to him. The real dirt was done by 95 and 99. Mostly 95 in this place. Cause they tried to hit this right here. They tried to hit this this play right here. But because of him, you know, peeking over there, beating 65, now he got to try to bounce it out here and look who's unblocked. Look who's unblocked. That guy. And he just makes the tackle. So you get your interior D lineman in there, you know, mucking stuff up and really making plays for, for other people. Really, you want them to eat up blockers. You want your interior guys to eat up blockers. This play here, I really just want to, to show you his explosiveness. I'm going I'm to show it in, in real speed first. Just to show. He's going to stunt. It's going to be a stunt. I just want to show you his explosiveness to be that size and be this quick. If this is not a, a, a quick hitch and throw, that's a sack. And then he come through clean too. He comes through real clean. He gonna come right off 99 butt, which is the way the stunts gotta be. Take that step forward, stick that foot in the ground, come right off his butt. That's some agility for a big old fella. That's some pretty darn good agility. He ain't cut it wide. He 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 had enough. He had enough core strength, but he can turn right on the dime right there. Then explode up the field. That's a pressure. And I'm sure you know. Look where the ball is. It's because he had a guy in his face. You'll take that from an interior guy all day long, all day long. And again, we're gonna close it out with this one right here. Just another example of how quick he is to be this size. This is, you can't really see him. He's in front of uh, 17 right here. He's that's, This is him right here, right in front of 17. Can't really see him. But watch this quickness. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. This this the tackle is going to attempt to down block him. He's going to step at the tackle, see him coming, and then step right back in there, right behind the guard. And don't make the play, but he's going to make the running back be like, oh, shit, and then bounce up out of there. Step to the tackle. See the tackle trying to down block him. I'm going to step right back behind the goal. Now I'm right here. Ready to make the play. Ready to make the play. Look at that. Face to face. Face to face. Face to face with the running back. Ready to make a play. Look, you know, luckily for, for Clemson, the tackle was able to recover a little bit. and not. But you got to have the cavalry here to make these tackles now. Again. These guys don't get like 95, 99. They don't get a lot of stats. They don't get a lot of pub, but they make plays for other people by just taking on blockers and beating blockers. So you want, you can't just look at the stats and say, hey, these guys are this and that. You got to actually get into the film and see what they do to opposing linemen. And again, I'm just, just look at this lineup, man. You got 
This dude probably going, you know, maybe first, second round. This dude probably going first first round. We ain't even got to this dude yet. He probably going first round. He definitely going first round right here, 44. And he potentially could go, you know, second day. Maybe late first day, but I would say second day. <laughs> Just these, these cats right here all going to be gone within the first round and a half possibly. Maybe Definitely the first two rounds. But and Georgia won that championship, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, hey, I appreciate you. This is Devontae Wise Film Study from Sip and Tally Films. I'm host Coach Evans again. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody that's hit the Patreon, the uh, PayPal, the um, Cash App. Um, hey, just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. And I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon with um. Then we're going to do number 99 next and then end it up with, with Quay Walker. Big 99 will uh, uh, be next. That's one a lot of people is waiting to see. Uh, peace, guys.